This is the Daily News Update. I'm Petty Officer Kat Smith, and these are your headlines for April 6th. The United States receives 90 percent of its commerce through 32 coastal states. This is why one of the Navy's highest priorities is creating a new maritime strategy. To do that, Navy leadership has traveled around the country, speaking with Americans about naval security. This is the United States of America's Navy. This is the, the Navy for our people. Uh, and uh, we've been engaged with them so that we would understand what they might expect of a Navy uh, and also to have an exchange that allows them to understand better what we actually are doing, what our capabilities are. The CNO also said that it is important that the Navy has an enduring maritime strategy to sustain the nation's security over time. The Marine Corps has created a new regiment focused on tracking and assisting wounded Marines and sailors. Battalions will be located on Camp Lejeune, North Carolina and Camp Pendleton, California. In other news, after a six-month renovation, the website Direct Line that is owned and operated by the Master Chief Petty Officer of the Navy, Joe Campa, is now open for viewing. One of the most significant new additions to the website is the ability to communicate with other users and the MCPON himself. The web address remains the same at directline.navy.mil. And finally, Naval Submarine Base Kings Bay received the 2007 Commander in Chief's Award for Installation Excellence. The award recognizes the outstanding innovations of those who operate U.S. military bases. Out of the five awards given, only one Navy and one Marine Corps base were selected. For the Naval Media Center, I'm Petty Officer Kat Smith.